This is Kenneth Gates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're joined today with UFC veteran Sugar Shane Nelson uh, who's also fighting in Canada uh, in a couple of weeks. Shane, first off, uh, thanks for talking with us today. Um, break down your fight in Canada. You know, who you're going to be facing, uh, what you know about him, things like that. Um, the fight in Canada is uh, July 23rd, Colossio Fighting Championships. Um, the guy fighting is David Tarzan Douglas, Strike Force vet from Caesar Gracie's team. So, uh, predicting a tough fight. You know, um, I know all the guys at Caesar Gracie's is well rounded, and uh, um, you know the fights that I did watch of, the, of David and whatnot. You know, majority of his fights is uh, he wins by knockout and stuff. So you know, it's gonna be a fun fight, and uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll be ready to scrap. And I just did an interview with Ross Ibanez uh, yesterday, who's also fighting on this card. How much of a benefit will it be to not only have cornermen, you know, from your training camp, but also teammates up there with you um, in this fight? Um, it's good. Uh, me and Ross is uh, he's not only training partners. You know, we're good friends, and and, and pretty much, even if I not, if you know I wasn't fighting, you know, I was training the whole time with Ross, and if, you know, it would be vice versa. If he never had a fight and I had a fight, he'd be in there. Pretty much, uh, you know, we we each other's main training partners. So, um, so it's a plus for having your good friends and training partners with you. Um, so we're gonna look to go up there and then represent um, Hawaii as best as we can. And I I also asked Ross this yesterday. Um, how big of an impact will it have? You know, you know, fighting in this promotion. They have the the pride rules where the first round is ten minutes and then uh, uh, another five after that. How much of an impact will that have on you? Um, I'm not really too fond of the, the first 10 and the 5 and the second round 5, but, you know, it is what it is. I do like the, the you know, soccer kicks and head stomps and all that stuff. You know, I think uh, that should be allowed in the UFC and, and, and uh, in, in all promotions because that will take away a lot of the stalling and, you know, wrestlers being able to lay on top of you and you can kick them in the face or knee them in the face on the ground. They can't just lay on you. So, in that sense, it's good. Just, uh, you know, we've been training for that 10-minute round and... Sparring is brutal in a 10 minute round, as you can see by my eye, you know, it's, it sucks, but we'll be ready. And you're also training now with Troy Mandalonis, uh, who's a UFC veteran himself. How much of a benefit has that ha had on you? Um, it, it has a, uh, having Troy there uh, with us has a huge benefit, um, not only with morale in the gym and stuff, but Troy is uh, excellent motivator I guess you could say you know he's always pushing you know wanting us to do extra and, and he's an awesome coach as well but more than anything you know he, uh, when Troy's in the gym you know I want to I want to do good and, and and you know make him happy and stuff when he's there you know so I try I try harder than you know I usually would probably so <laughs> it's good having him there it pushes me just that that little bit extra and, and I know Ross feels the same and, and you know it takes away uh us from having to teach classes and stuff, you know, while we're training for a fight, so we know we, we don't have to teach classes and we just train. And there was a rumor um, that you were supposed to fight Kawajiri. Um, was there any truth to that, or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was truth. About, yeah, that's all it was. I guess was a rumor. Um, they offered the fight. Dream offered the fight for July 16th to fight Kawajiri. Uh, just verbally, you know, I accepted the fight verbally and. Uh, just today, I saw on the internet that uh, Drew Fickett took the fight, so I guess that, you know, <laughs> that exits me out of the picture, but, you know, we were in talks to take the fight. Um, Dream owes me two fights, and, uh, you know, we're just waiting to hear back from them, but um, I guess it's not happening, so we're just looking forward to July 23rd and, you know, go up there and uh, put on a good show. Well, thank you for your time. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that be watching this? Um... Thanks to all uh, the training partners at the gym, um, everybody supporting the local fighters here in Hawaii, and uh, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shane.